This picture of the Black Sea port of Tuapse was taken when the Germans were trying to hack their way through to the town and the coastline it protects. Since then, of course, the Russians have mounted their winter offensives and every day has brought fresh news of further magnificent successes. Not only northwest of Moscow, not only between the Don and the Donets, but also down south in the Caucasus. Hitler's victories last summer brought his armies right up to the great mountain barrier guarding the route to Persia and the east. But here too, either his calculations or his intuition have been at fault, for the Soviet Union has staged a comeback threatening hundreds of thousands of German troops with disaster. While the Russian drive continues in the direction of Rostov, Stalin's Alpine troops fighting in the foothills of the Caucasus Mountains have played their part in destroying or capturing Nazis and their equipment. It's true, the mountains themselves provide an obstacle to any invader, but the real barrier which halted Hitler was the spirit of the Red Army and the character of its leadership. relish the news from Russia, how must they be feeling in Moscow today? It's not long since the war swept right up to the outskirts of that great city, but now, although enormous tracts of the country are still in German hands, Russia is on the attack, inflicting very heavy punishment on the hunt. Though outwardly calm and alert, how the people of Moscow must be rejoicing. <laughs> 